I think I'd like to say something because I'm not even shared. Um, well, I, I just want to say, um, and this is also another testimony of for God. You know, I could always have said this any week. What God has done for me and my mother, with the, the, my father, <clears throat> that was a huge loss for us. We were a team, the three of us. And um, so, I, um, I know you don't do this, but I was turning to things like, you know, like alcohol. For uh, to numb the pain, and that's the answer is not in any of that except it's, it's only in, uh, of course, uh, through 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 the prayer and the reading of the word and getting close to God and being connected to our brothers and sisters. You know, Jesus said, "Don't forsake the fellowship," for a reason. There's all there's a lot of power in in all the uh, you know the fellowship with our brothers and sisters and. Um, all things, yes, like Karen just said, my favorite verse, Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And we're not going to understand all the, everything down here on earth. My father had a great saying. I'll leave you with this. <laughs> we're not going to understand God. We're not going to understand God's ways down here. Just make sure you make it to heaven so you're going to ask him. <laughs> and... We might never understand, and that's fine, but it's not our job to question. He knows best. He's sovereign, and if we just uh, allow it to, you know, instead of uh, bringing us down, taking us out, like it almost did, the drinking for me, we've got to allow that to for him to use it for our better good. See, instead of it taking me out, now he's using me to, like, I'm stronger for it, and I can help others that I wouldn't have been able to help if I didn't go through the struggles I did. And you'll be able to help people, you know, with, with uh, you know, the struggles that you're going through now. Everyone. We all have struggles. But you'll make it out to the other side if you stay connected to him and allow him to use you, like I was saying before. That's all. Amen. Yeah, the first year, hold me one last thing. The first year, you're right, is uh, a denial year. Or like you're in a stupor, I called it. The second year is tougher. But God is still bigger. Uh -huh. And... It's no sweat for him. It's no big as the, the worst thing that could happen to us. Like Paul said, it's still a light affliction. Mm -hmm. All right, God bless. Oh, Vanessa, let me just share one thing.